Hello guys. Today we are going to talk about the graphical method of separating the loots. Yes, so in this topic today, we are going to make sure we learn how to draw graphs when you are given an equation. You have to know how to find the roots. You have to know when the root is concave up, concave down. Look how many, look how minimum and look how maximum and the rest of them. So in this graphical method of separating the loots we have two approaches when you are given an equation it's either you draw the graph or you separate the root the roots of the equation for example if you are given an equation s squared minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. This is an equation. The two methods is either you draw the graph like this or you separate the roots. What I mean by separating the roots is you can separate the roots like x squared is equal to 3x plus 1. This is this is how you can separate this root is separated this equation i mean the equation is separated not the roots so now we are going to solve the first approach which is the drawing the graphs now let's use the equation now 3x minus 3 is equals to 0 this is an equation. They ask you to draw the graph of this equation. Now, some students, they will like to use a table. Why some? They will like to solve it, finding the uh, domain, the minimum and maximum, and the rest of them. Here, I'm going to talk about it using a table. If we still have time, I'm going to talk about it when uh, using the domain and the, the rest of them. If we don't have time, in the next video, I'm going to talk about it. So now, let me talk about this using the easiest way that students will understand, which means using the table. Now the equation, this is an equation. The first thing to do in any equation when you want to find the root is to find the first derivative. This is, if this thing is a function of x, which means x prime, f prime of x, which is the first derivative of the equation, is 3x squared minus 3. Now, this is the first thing, the first step you are going to take when you are solving an equation under numerical analysis to draw the graph. Now you have this. The second thing is to find the roots, find the roots of, the, of this function. Now, to find the roots, we, we know how to find the roots. Uh, we have 3x squared here, which is x squared minus 1. Bring out the 3. So this thing is 3 into x plus 1, x minus 1. And here, we know that x here is equals to... Okay, let me go so that you will understand. x plus 1 is equals to 0. Therefore, 
x is equals to minus 1. And the second one, x minus 1 is equals to 0. And here, x is equals to 1. Now, we have the root. We have the, uh, uh, the x, the two x here. Now, this is the second steps. The second step that you will do. Now, when you have these two, the third thing is to draw the table. This is your x. Now, we have minus 1 and 1. Make sure that in your table, you we are going to have this minus 1 and 1 in the table. But before then, go back to your equation, the first equation given, this one, which is this. Bring down all the necessary uh, values and everything given, which is x cubed, this. Beware of signs. The other one is minus 3x minus 1 and the y. Now, we have to put the value of x. Let's start from minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, we have our minus 1 and the 1. Okay. Now, the table is set for you to solve it. Now, we have to do this. We know that this is, when you are giving s squared, when x is minus 3 you know that is minus 3 times minus 3 times minus times minus 3 which is 3 times 39 times 3 27 minus 27 then and this one is minus 3 times minus 3 which is 9 then here, minus 3, minus 2, into 3, which is minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2, which is minus 8. And this one, minus 1, 0. 1, 8, and 27. Then, we come for the second one. 3x, 3 times 2, 6, then minus 3, which is just 3, minus we go with minus 3, 0, minus 3. Now there is no minus here, and there is minus here, which is 3, this is 6, 9. Then here, we don't have in x which means the value is still the same now y we we, we find y when we are looking for y don't confuse yourself you will start from the value of here make sure you don't look at these ones start from here now, minus 27 plus 9 minus 1. Let's check in, your, in our calculator. Okay. I have here minus 19. Then, minus 8 plus 6. Minus 1. 
I have here, let's check, minus 8, plus 6, minus 1, I have here, minus 3. Now, the third one, minus here, plus 3, minus 1, I have here 1, I have here minus 1, I have here 1, I am trying to make it so you understand, because 1 minus 3 minus 1, which is um, minus 3, because 1 we go with 1, 6, 8 plus 6, actually this is to be minus 8 minus 6. Minus 1 will give us 1. 27 minus 9 minus 1, which will give us 17. Now, we have our value of x here. And we also have our value of y. This is your third step that you will do. Now, finally, is for you to draw the graph using our values using our values we have here this is our axis of x and this is our y axis now we have here our x starts from minus 3 to 3 so we have here minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 this is our origin this is 0 1 2 3 now we come to our y now when x is minus 3 y is minus 9 19 go here minus 19 when our x is minus 2 our y is minus 3 we go here minus 3 when our x is minus 1 our y is 1 minus 1 and the 1 then we have here 0 and minus 1 when x is 0 y is minus 1 here okay when x is 1 our y is minus 3 which is here Two, when x is 2, our y is 1. When x is 2, our y is 1. Go here 1. And when x is 3, our y is 17. Let's go here 17. Now, we go... Like this. This is how the graph will look like. This is drawing the graph. Now, here we have our concave down, and here we have our concave up. I will show you how to find concave down and concave up using a table but this is the best approach because doing this alone we show you the graph the graph here we show you this is local maximum this is local minimum and this is local maximum this is how to draw it. In the next video, 
I will show you the second approach of solving equation. Uh, uh, the second approach of graphical method by which we solve equation. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video.